After you long press an app icon and start moving it, tap other icons with another finger. You can move multiple apps to another home screen at once. In the Photos app, you can do the same. Long press one photo, then tap others with another finger to drag them all into another app. When browsing images on a website, you can also use this method to select multiple pictures and drag them straight into a folder. Long press the subject of a photo to remove the background instantly, and you can even save it as a sticker. Long press text inside an image to copy or translate it. Long press any empty area on your home screen, then tap the dots at the bottom to reorder or hide pages. Long press a letter key on the keyboard to access accents and extra options. To enable caps lock, you can either double tap the arrow key or simply long press it. It makes switching cases more flexible. Instead of switching between letter and number keyboards, long press the number key to enter digits faster. Long press and drag the spacebar to move the cursor precisely. Long press the spacebar, then tap the keyboard. You can drag to select text to Zelly. After selecting text, keep holding it. Open another app with your other hand and drag the text right in. Long press the delete key and it will delete text faster and faster. Long press the symbol key to switch to the floating keyboard for one-handed typing. Pinch out with two fingers to return to full size. Long press an app icon to open quick actions or change it into a widget. Long press icons in control center to reveal more detailed options. Long press the screen recording button to choose whether to record with your microphone on. This way you can capture internal audio or ambient sound. Long press on the lock screen to quickly switch wallpapers. In iPadOS 26, you usually have to click the red and green window buttons to arrange windows. But actually, just long press the green button to expand and open all layout options instantly. Long press the Notes app icon to open the document scanner and turn paper files into digital copies in seconds. Want to learn more hidden iPad tricks? Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll show you even more useful tips.